All right, this is Jeff Zimmerman with FightNews.com. I'm with the trainer of Blair the Flair Cobb. I'm here with Roger Romo. How you doing, Roger? I'm doing good. Good to see you, brother. Thank you. How, how's it feel to be in Dallas with this heat? I, mean, I love Dallas. I love every part of Texas. I've, um, I came out here for a few camps with uh, my brother. Uh, that was always good. You know, the people are always uh, friendly here. Um, got to see many places in Texas. Dallas is one of them, and it's, it's a beautiful place. I love it. Now, now most people, you know, may not know your boxing background. Right. Obviously, uh, you're related to one of the best fighters uh, ever to lace him up yeah. out of Oxnard, yeah. Fernando Vargas. Talk, talk about that relationship. Uh, man, you know, it's, it's, I just want to um, be half as good as what he did. You know what I mean? He's a legendary person. And if I could be uh, half as legendary as him, then I'll be all right. Now, you're out here with Blair the Flair Cobb, as we mentioned, right. but but you also um, dabble in the UFC uh, MMA right. world right. with the uh, former champ making making a comeback yeah. in TJ Dillashaw. TJ is doing great, too. Um, uh, we, we keep in touch as well. Um, I've gotten to work a lot with TJ on his stand-up. Um, a lot of people have said his stand-up has improved a lot. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm happy to be able to contribute to that. TJ's a good dude. Um, He'll call me if he needs anything. Um, right now, I don't think um, they're they're uh, that into that for this camp. Um, I think uh, what he does is he um, breaks they break down the opponent, and if they need some more stand up, they hit me up. How, how do you? What's the difference? Because everyone talks about the stand up game in MMA right. versus boxing. Right. As a trainer, how, how do you train differently? It's just a, it's a bit different. They're used to. Um, you know, maybe having a stance a little wider due to 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 the wrestling or or the jujitsu or, or or the kicks. So I mean, basically, what you got to tell them is, is is look, you want to train stand up, we got to train it right. We got to train the boxing right, correctly. That way, you you you're not gonna master boxing right away. But if you get it down right, it's another weapon to your arsenal. So that's basically, I got to just get them to commit to not not uh, 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 implementing the, the MMA into the boxing. Now you're you're in camp now with uh, Blair the Flair Cobb's right. got a big fight against former world champion junior welterweight champion from Dallas uh, Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker. Right. Uh, how how did you and Blair link up? You know what? I ran into Blair at a fight in Vegas. We spoke there just a bit, and then um, it was weird. I, I ended up at the fight. Um, Rosal, my, my 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 buddy from uh, Golden Boy, he uh, he got me some tickets for his fight. And I uh, watched it, his last fight, and um, I honestly thought that uh, he did a great job. I, think he, I, I, I mean, not just because I'm working with him, man. I thought the guy was hitting behind the head. You know, people don't, don't keep that into consideration or put that into consideration. So I, um, I, uh, uh, I even said that day, I would love to work with him. And my, my, my buddy, um, my, actually my partner, uh, Adam Flores, ran into him and told him, look, come out to our gym, you'll love what you see. You know, come check it out. You know, if you want a, a, another place to train, you know, this is a, a, a great place. He went, we talked a bit, worked that day, and he, he didn't stop coming. He said uh, that he was going to train with us. So um, that's how it happened. And, and, and I mean, he, he went and uh, he let Freddie Roach know. I told him he had to. I mean, you have to coach Freddie Roach demands, I mean, his name, his, his reputation demands respect. And he's been nothing but, but great to me. And I told him, like, well, I I, I'm not that person. You know, to try to go and take a biter away from somebody, you need to talk to Mr. Roach and, and let him know that that you're sorry that things didn't work out that way. And you were working with us, and, and he did, and and um, everything's good. So we're, we've been working and we're ready to go. So what, what should we expect from Blair on Saturday night? Blair is um, he's a hard worker. So everything we worked on, he gave me his all. You guys are gonna see a more composed Blair the Flair. Um, uh, uh, a bit patient, a bit more patient. Um, you know, uh, you know, just just really focused. I don't know if you can see it now, but his focus is there. Um, he's told me he's never felt this this good for a fight. Uh, we had a great training camp. We had great sparring. We had great everything. So um, we're not going to come here with any excuses. The better man is going to win. The man who trained harder, the man who trained smarter, is going to win. And if, if if that man happens to be a hooker, we're not going to have any excuses. Uh, we're not we're not we're not saying we're losing. I mean, I, I, I am uh, fully confident that, that we're ready to go and, and try to come out with this victory. All right, Roger Romo, trainer of Blair the Flair Cobb, got a big fight against Mighty Mo Hooker uh, this Saturday night in Fort Worth, Dickies Arena on the zone. Thanks a lot, Robert. Thank or you, Roger. Thank you, brother.